Hello, hello, this is Roberto and this is the HVAC in my channel. Today we're going to be talking about public bathroom CFM calculation. All right, so let's get into it. So number one, it's always important to know the location of your project because depending on that, actually you're going to have three options. For example, if we have in here, um, let's say, uh, we, we have different locations. For example, New York City, Washington DC, Virginia, Florida, California. Uh, there's a lot of places, international Dubai, Australia, Nigeria, Canada, a lot of places, right? Everyone has their local codes. But if you do not, you can use as a reference, um, you know, the international mechanical code. But however, let's choose as location. So let's put in here location. See, location, okay, because why do we need the location? We're going to do New York City, NYC, New York City. So why do we need the location? Because based on that, we need to know what code applies to that, okay? So that's very interesting because if you want to calculate the CFM, the exhaustion, because, because uh, since you have a public restroom, you need to extract the air because, you know, people are, um, you know, it, it's, it doesn't smell well, right? So we need to exhaust that air. So in that case, we're going to have three options. Number one, depending on the location, they have the local code, okay? So I'm going to put in here number one, local code, local code it could be in the usa canada or any country right local code so in this case in the local code we're gonna have new york city they have their own new york city mechanical code 2022 okay there we go that's the most updated code okay so now now we have a second option option number two we're gonna check on the IMC, International Mechanical Code, 2015, okay? But you might, so this is International Mechanical Code, but you might be wondering why is it 2015? Because as we showed in other videos, you have to check which year is the current code, right? So there's different ways to do that. And you can go to Google, to the, international codes council or you can go to app codes okay so we're going to do that in a, in a few more minutes okay so but number three you have another three uh, the third option could be the ashray okay ashray which is not a code is a standard right ashray a standard for ventilation 62.2 or one in this case is one why is it one because this is actually more commercial than residential this is a public restroom now if we're talking about only one restroom we can talk about residential right but this is public restroom okay so ashray 62.1 and it's important to know which year in this case we're gonna have ashray 62.1 year 2016 so there you go Depending on the location, the step number one, you have to choose your location. And based on that, you choose your code. So which one are you gonna follow? Local code, IMC, ASHRAE. So in this case, what I'm gonna do for the video, I'm gonna start following ASHRAE, uh, the local code. So that's always a, a very efficient way to do it. That's the most accurate way to do it, okay? but. This also works, IMC, and this also works, a standard uh, 62.1. They are good, but always it's better to have the local code, okay? Now, on, the, on this part of the video, let's check very quickly why is it New York City Mechanical Code 2022, okay? So in order to do so, what we're going to do is we're going to go again to Google. So, if, and again, I'm repeating this over and over again in every video because because of the importance of the code, because if you have any issues or in, if you have any lawsuit or anything, that is your backup. You always can say, I've been complying with the mechanical code, New York City mechanical code, IMC, ASHRAE standard. So it's always very important to have that. Plus it makes you more educated. So in this case, let's go check in Google uh, based on the question, what's my code? So if you go to Google, see, this is Google. In Google, we're gonna put in here, New York City. 
see New York City code app codes I usually use app codes okay so we're gonna go here New York City code app codes New York City building codes and then this is gonna give you a summary see in here it gives you a summary of what is it okay so in New York City what are the applicable codes in here it says what is the mechanical code let's go check let's go check building code 2022 there we go we have New York City Mechanical Code 2022. That's the most current one. And then you have, it's based on amended see, IMC 2015. Okay. So if you go to IMC, 20, see, this is the Mechanical Code. But however, what if you put just IMC 2015? So if you put in here, no, not even, you, you, can, you can even check it in here. So if you go here, see, in the Mechanical Code itself, you go to the References section. See, Reference referenced standards chapter 15 you're going to be able to find which standards apply the to this uh, local code so in this case you're going to have ASHRAE there you go so what ASHRAE are they using they are using ASHRAE 62.1 2016 ventilation for acceptable indoor air quality right and the other one is going to be international mechanical code as we saw in here it's based on let's go back see International Mechanical Code 2015, okay? So now we know, and uh, well, in other videos, we're gonna be showing like the International Code Council uh, digital, right, in, in the website, okay? Okay, so in this case, as, as I was mentioning, we have this, we have that, we have that. So let's go now back to the calculation, okay? So we're gonna start with New York City Mechanical Code 2022, okay? So now, Let's start doing, doing the calculation of the exhaust CFM for one of the locations. So in here, as you can see in these drawings, you have the men's restroom, you have the women's restroom, and you have the uh, janitor's closet, like a custodian, no, you have an independent restroom and you have the custodian restroom, right? Because they have to clean up the restroom, so they need a, their own space. They need to get the broom, the mop, this is the mop sink. So the custodian needs uh, their own room. Okay, so that's the room of the custodian. This is the, an independent uh, water closet, a, a, an independent restroom. And these are the public restrooms. There you go. Let's start with the calculation of WC. Okay, so let's, let's put in here like a title uh, like this. Uh, yeah, uh, exhaust. There you go. Exhaust. Okay, exhaust or CFM exhaust for WC. There we go. So what would be the exhaust for WC? All right. So number one, what we need to check in that is the code. Okay. So in the code, what does it say? We're going to use this New York City Mechanical Code 2022. In the mechanical code, it indicates that the CFM needed is based on CFM per square feet. No, number of fixtures. All right. So the number of fixtures is going to be for shower or restroom or uh, let's let's put like uh, toilets. But uh, let's double check on this very quickly. All right. Okay. So for this, what we can do is we're going to make a quick table. Okay. So in the table, what we're going to have is uh, we need the room. OK, we're going to put here the room. OK, so after that, since we have the room, we're going to put the square feet in here, square feet. OK, then the code says the code is going to give you the CFM. OK, CFM per square feet. So we're going to have that column CFM per square feet. The code is also going to give you the CFM per fixture, CFM per fixture. Okay, fixture. In this case, it's going to be toilets. Okay, fixture. Okay, CFM fixture. And we're going to have in here the number of fixtures. Number of fixtures. Okay, fixtures. Okay. And then finally, we're going to have the CFM by code. CFM per code. Okay. I'm going to put this control C. CFM by code. And finally, we're gonna have the design CFM. You can put CFM provided, CFM uh, design CFM, CFM design, that's the final number, okay? 
All right, let's start with this. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put this everything in white. So what's the room? This is, tables are, are very nice because what am I doing a table? I could do this analytically. However, if I do a table, I'm gonna be able to, because in a building, you're gonna have so many of them. So that's why this is gonna help you for doing, for making a, an Excel sheet, okay? Okay, so what's the room? The room is called WC. I'm gonna put in here WC. There you go, WC. Okay, so what's the square footage? The square footage is 60. That's gonna be 60 CFM, okay? 60 square feet, I mean, okay? All right, secondly, CFM per square feet, CFM per fixture, okay? So that comes from code, okay? So what are we doing by code? These two right here, you have to choose. We have three options, right? New York City Mechanical Code 2022, IMC 2015 or ASHRAE 62.1 2016 standard, okay? So in this case, we're gonna be using the INYC New York City Mechanical Code 2022, okay? So in order to get this information, we need to go to tables, we need to go to the code. So in order to go to the code, we're gonna go again to Google. So we had this code. So did you see in here, New York City Mechanical Code 2022, we click in here and then we go to the table of contents. Under contents, you have chapter four, ventilation. Chapter four, ventilation, and you go to section 403. So section 403 says mechanical ventilation. Chapter four, section 403, mechanical ventilation. Under mechanical ventilation, you go to three. There is, where is three? Okay, there you go, outdoor air. And then three, one, one, three. There's a table. There you go. That's the table. Table 403.3.11. Minimum ventilation rates. Under these minimum ventilation rates, you have correctional facilities, dry cleaners, education, you have food beverages, hotels, laboratories, offices, private and single multiple, public spaces. So under public spaces, you have this last one, see? Toilet rooms, public, okay? So what does it say? Under the toilet rooms, public, you have what is this column? This column is for exhaust rates right here. Oh my gosh, I'm going up. Exhaust airflow rate, CFM per fixture right here. Okay, CFM per, the CFM per fixture. No, this wouldn't be CFM per fixture. Let me double check on this. So no, it's not actually, it's not actually per fixture, but this is a square feet, CFT square. So this is CFM per square feet, okay? So as you, as I was mentioning, you're gonna have two options. I'm gonna uh, lower this. You have CFM per square feet, which is this. I'm gonna put this in here. CFM per square feet, CFM per square feet, that's one. And the second one is gonna be CFM per fixture. So what's the number? Let's go check in here. So this is definitely CFM per square feet. But see, so, so technically, for example, for this, you have in order to exhaust this, you need one CFM per square feet, right? However, you're gonna go to the public bathrooms. In, under the public bathrooms, you have 50 and 70, but there is in here a letter called E. So what is the E? You go in here to the footnotes right here. So in here, E says rates are per water closet or uni urinal. See, rates per water closet or urinal. That per water closet or urinal, urinal is what I call CFM per fixture. Now the fixture could be shower, water closet or urinal, all right? Now, secondly, what is the first one? So in here it says, the higher rate shall be provided where the exhaust system is intermittent. Lower rate continues. So in other words, in order to understand this, what you have in here is 50 CFM is if you want to exhaust the toilet continuously, nonstop. However, you can exhaust the, the, the unit 70 intermittently uh, operation on a schedule, right? Sometimes I've seen designers that they take the higher number 
even though they're gonna be exhausting continuously just to be safe i've seen that so let's go be very conservative and let's put 70 okay so what we're gonna do in here is 70 so this would be 70 cfm per square feet no it's not per square feet you are wondering why because you have this letter e we already checked the e means per fixture which water closet or urinal right urinal all right so this is we're going to choose 70 that's the code all right so let's go back so in here what we're going to have is cfm per square feet no nothing in here nothing is going on okay and then cfm per fixture it's going to be 70 70 cfm per fixture now under the fixture um you know what i'm going to do one more modification in here very quickly okay so in this table i'm gonna put uh the following no it, it should be enough actually i don't want to confuse anyone cfm per fixture is going to be 70 there we go 70 cfm per fixture now number of fixtures let's check how many fixtures do we have in this wc we only have one fixture. are you as you can see in here we have we have only one toilet for example in the men's we have one two toilets and we have one um what is this called uh urinal on the women's we have one two three four toilets right so that's why in here water class we have only one number of fixtures one there you go so in in this case how do you calculate the cfm the cfm is going to be calculated cfm per fixture one fixture so total 70 cfm so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do this for this time only 70 times one so 70 times one is going to be 70 cfm there you go so in here what we're going to do is actually the following i'm going to put this in pink in pink what we have in here is we need for this space by code 70 cfm okay all right and then let's go a little bit further we're going to continue doing this but we're, we're starting with this we're going to make another video I'm going to explain this a little bit better below. So for example, you have this analytically. So analytically, analytically, analytically. All right, it's anal sorry, sorry, let's go here like this. Analytically. It's actually two Y's. Okay, analytically. What we have is the following, okay? All right, code says that you need 70 CFM, okay, per fixture. All right, 70 CFM per fixture, and you know you have number of fixtures, you have one fixture. So this is equal, fixture, fixture goes away, this is equal to 70 cfm now in here what applies for fixture fixture usually plumbing engineers are always talking about fixtures all right what are fixtures this is what i call fix fixture fixtures are for example water closet i mean toilet water closet okay we call water fixture you urinals urinals and showers okay showers showers we also have way more fixtures but for exhaust this is the only one that we need okay all right i'm gonna start finishing the video and then uh i'm gonna put in here so in the water closet we need 70 cfm and again remember so this is the code for intermittent intermittent operation so for intermittent operation, it should be 70 CFM. And then for continuous, it should be 50 CFM. 50 CFM, if you want continuous operation, continuous operation. However, some people want wants to be per, uh, very conservative and then they size it based on intermittent operation. So you're gonna be able to put in here a fan or, uh, so you have the total CFM, okay? Now what we're going to do in the next video is going to be the calculation of the men's and the women's. And then possibly in the other video, we're going to make the calculation of the custodian. So that way at the end, we're going to be able to add all of the CFM and then we're going to come up with a strategy. 
to exhaust that okay i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did hit the like button and subscribe and leave any comment thank you so much